everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been doing a little organizing here. I got a longer video for you guys. I wanted to do the entire Bath and Body Works spring collection so far. What have we gotten? Where are we going? <laughs> And um, how do we feel about spring so far um, in 2024? So I got a big bin here and I've got everything organized and we're going to talk about what we've had so far for spring. So early in January, Bath and Body Works gave us a big treat with the Sweetheart Cherry and the strawberry pound cake. So for those of us who like the foodie sense, you know who you are. You're like me, Desert Island sense. Um, the Sweetheart Cherry was definitely a huge win for so many of us. It smells amazing. Um, I like the Bath and Body Work Cherry. This worked for me. Um, Strawberry pound cake is always a winner. So Valentine's Day for me was really, really good. In addition to the Sweetheart Cherry, we also got um, the Peach Bellini, which kind of like weaved in there. It's funny. The Peach Bellini was part of that like tufted collection, which by the way, the new um, the Strawberry Bourbon Vanilla is going to be in that same packaging. I just found that out today, which I thought was interesting. So we got Peach Bellini in there. And then um, we got a couple of throwback scents coming back. So fresh cut lilacs. Oops, here we go. And white citrus showed up online. Um, a lot of people are happy about these, including me. Fresh cut lilacs is an amazing Mother's Day scent. They usually sneak it in online. If you haven't checked out fresh cut lilacs, I highly recommend doing it. And then White Citrus has been like a Bath & Body Works favorite for years. Also a good one. Rose and Hello Beautiful. I could do a review on Hello Beautiful. I have not done a Hello Beautiful review in a really long time. Hello Beautiful, Rose, repackages. I feel like these are just like, you know, your tried and true steady florals that keep showing up. Um, not a bad thing. But, you know, they're available. Early, earlier, one of the first, check it out, early releases of 2024 uh, was the Calypso Clementine. Woohoo! I have it in the perfume. This is the orange scent with a little of the woodsy in it. So this was kind of our early big signature collection. I feel like this was a huge hit. A lot of people are telling me they love this. Um, so I think it was a good thing. I'm actually loving the perfume. So Calypso Clementine. And then we got a lot of aromatherapy kind of mixed in. We got our rainfall retreat. We got, I talked about this yesterday a little bit. Um, we got our Himalayan Oasis. Don't love Himalayan Oasis. I do like the Rainfall Retreat. This is the Cucumber Cedarwood. And I really like um, the Shave Gel. So hopefully you got that yesterday during the sale. So a lot of people are excited about that. Um, just recently, we had a fourth edition to the Wellness Collection, the Colloidal Oatmeal, the Water, the Cocoa Shea, which is the Glowing Fruit Enzyme. Um, mixed reviews on this. I don't know if anyone's like over the top, but it's out there if you're interested. So then, of course, um, we moved into the Tropical, and as kind of a side collection to Tropical, we also got Sea Salt Coast and Water Lily Springs. Of these two, um, the Water Lily Springs was my favorite. This was the uh, Dew Kiss Lilies, Crisp Waters, and Clean Musk. I felt like this was a really like dewy, watery scent that kind of agreed with me. Uh, both of them are pretty much unisex. Um, sea Salt Coast to me is a little sharp. I, did, I don't, I don't love it. It's like whoop. Um, 
This one is Salty Air Water Lotus and Sandalwood Shores. Not loving this one, but these are kind of like the two oceany scents um, that came out for spring. And then, of course, we got the Tropical Collection, which consists of um, the flagships, which are the Waikiki Beach Coconut, Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower. These pretty much come out every year. So no surprise. Um, I like the packaging this year. The packaging was pretty. Um, Waikiki Beach Coconut is more of like a Hawaiian coconut mix. Bahamas Passion Fruit Banana Flower smells like moldy bread on me. I don't like it. <laughs> a lot of people love it. It's just not my scent. Um, we also got back the classic Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Very fruity, very sugary. A lot of people love this one along with the Fiji Sunshine Guabatini. So if you were kind of in the love the fruity tropical scents, uh, these are the ones to get. This one is pink pineapple. This one is more of your guava orange with a little floral mixed in. They're both really good scents though. So if you're looking for something tropical, I highly recommend those. And then we got two newcomers to the mix. We got the Rio Pineapple Mango, which is the candle. And then we got the Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit, which I think a lot of people are saying is their favorite. The problem was we did not get these in the cream or the lotion, which was really bizarre for Bath & Body Works. Like, where's the cream? Where's the lotion? So favorites, um, we did get a moisturizing body wash in the Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit. Um, Pineapple Mango was just an online exclusive. This one's a little too like strong fruity for me. I didn't love it, but my favorite is definitely um, the Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit. Uh, this is a winner. I'll probably be wearing this one into summer. I really like the fruity mix. It's Golden Kiwi, Juicy Starfruit, and Solar Woods. Oh, another one we got, um, Beautiful Day was also repackaged. I do not like this packaging for Beautiful Day. This is the most bizarre packaging I think I've ever seen. Um, to me, it doesn't even make sense. It's just kind of, um, it's just ugly. <laughs> it's just ugly. Um, it just is like a weird, it's almost like a fairy tale, like door in the middle of a meadow. Um, I'll review Beautiful Day, which is sun-kissed apple, sparkling cases, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. Um, but I'm not like, I'm not on board with this one at all. I don't know. The packaging was just awful. I do like the fresh cut lilacs in the new packaging. That was good. So a lot of comeback scents. Then we got the repackage of the butterfly, which I think was the best repackage. Honestly, like they could not have done a better job on butterfly. They gave us the exfoliating glow scrub, which I love. It's a holographic purple aqua, just beautiful. I gotta say, I love the new Butterfly um, Moisturizing Body Wash. This is one of my favorites. Um, this one is the Raspberry Nectar Iris Petals and Airy Vanilla. If you like a nice light spring floral with a really beautiful fruity note in there, this is gonna be um, your winner. I love Butterfly, it's one of my all time favorites from Bath and Body Works. So we got Butterfly. Then we got Tropidolic, which big, um, I'm gonna do the perfume, big release on Tropidolic, very beautiful packaging. However, a lot of people are going, what the heck is this? It is Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang and Misty Rainforest. Um, it's a weird scent. It's definitely harsh. It's got a lot of layers in it that sometimes like smell a little odd on your skin. Um, the packaging is perfect. I love the packaging, but the scent, I'm kind of leaning towards, I'm not loving Tropidelic. It's just too pungent. That's the good word. It's pungent for me. So Tropidelic is kind of a no. Um, new men's care, we got Ridgeline, which I don't like at all. This is Mountain Air Citrus and Smooth Sandalwood. I am not even liking that at all. They brought After Dark back. Oh my gosh, I didn't bring After Dark up here. Um, I like the After Dark. That one was actually good. 
then we've got our Easter collection. So I just talked about the full size in the Daffodil Daydreams. This is your Sweet Daffodil Pastel Clouds and Whipped Marshmallow. This is actually a really good scent, albeit light. It's nice marshmallow floral, but there's something about it that just like smells like Easter, a little candy, a little marshmallow, a little floral. You can get it in the mini. Chris sent me this from Columbus. This guy shops. Follow him um, in the full size. I don't know if it's coming in the full size. We did also get, yes, we got Tutti Fruity Candy back. Um, but it's an online exclusive only, which is really bizarre. I don't know why they do this beautiful spread of Easter and then they put Tutti Fruity Candy only online. They do have it like in the soap. Um, they have it in like the hand cream, you know, the little things. But if you want the body care, you're going to have to go online. It's sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. It is a good scent. Um, if you like like jelly beans, which I just bought today, by the way. I got these crazy jelly beans from Brock's. I did try one, by the way. I, I wasn't supposed to with my teeth, but I'm like, I chewed it on the other side. It was good. I like the blueberry maple pancake. I'm like, someone had mentioned, don't mix them. Yeah, don't, because you get all kinds of weird flavors going on. Um, so yeah, Tutti Fruity Candy. If you can get it online, um, absolutely adorable scent for Easter. Then... I got to talk about this tomorrow. Brightest Bloom I got in the hand cream. I'm starting to like this one. It's got um, some interesting scent notes in it. I saw on Poshmark someone had the candle. It's Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sumbar, Sumback, Jasmine Sumback, um, Garden Carnations and Fresh Cedarwood. I think it's the cedarwood that gives it the kind of nice scent for me. But I actually like it. It's a floral, but it's a nice floral. I think a lot of people are really going to get excited um, for Brightest Blooms. I'll do a bigger review on that probably tomorrow. Um, but I just kind of wanted to see where we were for 2024 this year. Um, oh, and of course, where did I put that? Um, Ice Lemon Pound Cake is coming in this collection, which everybody's talking about. And then, of course, the vanilla strawberry bourbon one. So that'll be coming up, but you know, so far, I'm kind of like 50-50 on 2024 for Bath Body Works. Like we got some good stuff. Like I'm really happy with the Sweetheart Cherry. Um, I liked some of the Tropical, but it wasn't like a really like, whoa, wow. I feel like last year with the Watermelon Mojito and the Mango Scent, we were a little bit more of a wow factor for tropical. I feel like this is kind of an ordinary tropical year, which happens. Sometimes you get a good one. Sometimes you get a bad one. It was nice. We got pink pineapple sunrise back. Um, but the fact that we didn't get the cream in uh, pineapple mango and um, the star fruit and kiwi, that was kind of a bummer. So I think a lot of people are kind of turned off by that. Um, we didn't get like a lot of the scrubs and body butters. I thought maybe a lot of people were thinking we were going to get. So I just kind of feel like it was a little bit of a mishmash of a spring so far. It wasn't bad. I mean, I'm not, this was not, definitely not the worst spring that Bath and Body Works has had. It just felt like a little bit um, confusing. I'm, I feel like, I feel like some of the comeback sounds are actually kind of the best parts. Um, like Butterfly. Um, I know a lot of people are so excited to see fresh cut lilacs for spring. A lot of people like white citrus. So again, um, if you're kind of a, like a casual shopper, you're going to see a lot of scents that are your favorites and that you're excited to get back. So I think in that aspect, um, it was a really, um, it was a really solid spring. Um, I kind of talked about before, it would have been nice to see like a strawberry daiquiri in the body care or like fresh coconut colada or Oahu. I feel like we were definitely lacking in the coconut scents. We did not get coconut pineapple back. Uh, coconut lime, other than uh, Waikiki Beach coconut, like we didn't have any good coconut scents um, really for spring. I mean, I'm like, am I missing something? Coconut, coconut? <laughs> like, where's the coconut? I like the plain coconut from Bath and Body Works. To me, um, that was a really good one. Remember we got body butter and the pineapple coconut? That was a really good year. 
um, the Happy Little Coconuts collection. That was wonderful. We got sunwashed citrus the one year as part of the tropical. Um, so I feel like that year was definitely a little bit more on top. Um, hopefully as Bath and Body Works moves into summer, we might see some more coconut because they do a good job on coconut. So anyway, um, again, not like the worst, you know, launch of 2024, but I think there were definitely a couple of bumps in the road. Um, I'm really curious to see what comes next. Like I said, ice lemon pound cake. I'm seeing apple, I'm seeing lavender and musk coming out, just like plain scents. We'll see what those are like. And then um, we got to talk a lot about the brightest blooms, but I don't know. I think Tropidelic is one of the oddest like launches. Like I, it's total 50-50 people are on Tropidelic on whether or not um, they think this is a good scent. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, the spring collection so far. I think I got everything. I think I did pretty good. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.